definitely a little bit hot outside. <sighs> but I waited at least until it was a little bit cooler outside and the breeze is really, really nice. So that's good. Hello, VOD watchers. We're waiting for everybody to kind of file in from the But I wanted to see if I could find one that was maybe a little bit more secluded or just like not as much on the main path. Oh, that sun was bright. Couldn't really find it. Too close to somewhere that might be able to be identified, if that makes sense. So I'll save that for my personal gathering. Sorry, guys. But it was beautiful and large so I'm kind of just walking back to the spot that I found all the mullein in before when we were doing our stream the other day yo what's up matter matters how you doing welcome to the stream and uh, I'm gonna tell you guys all about mullein how I identified it all that nonsense because I don't know Oh, who is this? I just can't say. Smaug! What's up, dude? Um, I'm sure you guys saw on the last herb gathering stream that I was obsessed with this plant. <laughs> I was like, I need this in my life. Yo, what's up, Daisy? How you doing? I was like, I need to identify this. It's a beautiful plant by itself, but also I, I just really wanted to know what it was. Also, um, quick side note. This is yarrow. So when that's blooming, your girl is gonna love that. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're just walking back to a good spot to get some. Is that a walking trail? It is, it's like a, a good little trail, you know? It's close to where I live, so it's not too far away. But yeah. Okay, so I guess I'll start to tell you guys about how I identified Mullen. Um, I came back out here earlier because I did my League of Legends stream this morning and I just, there were some things going on that I just really needed to like get outside, go for a walk, not be in my apartment. So I walked over to the gas station, got me some aloe water, went for a walk, and I had got this app probably, I want to say like three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, that helps you to identify plants. It's called Plant Snap. You like take a picture of the plant and it helps you to identify it. Well, I had read some reviews that it was not the best at identifying plants. What's a good book you recommend about plants? Um, Modern Apothecary on Amazon is a really, really good book. Helps a lot. I read it all the time. Um, but I had used Plant Snap and I didn't really, it didn't really accurately identify it. It said that it was white sage, which I'm not going to lie, for a good second I was super excited about, but then it didn't really like look like sage leaves. So I was just like, there's no way that this is white sage. So I just went on to Google. I Googled yellow plant fuzzy leaves. <laughs> I mean, yellow flowers, fuzzy leaves. <clears throat> and lo and behold, there was mullein. All over Google. All I, I looked on YouTube and it was talking about how mullein has been used for centuries to treat asthma, to, to treat dry hacking coughs. <coughs> that it's been used to treat people who smoke a lot to calm their lungs, help to get all the tar out of their lungs, recoat their mucous membrane in their lungs correctly and healthily. Hi Kearney, how you doing? And so when I read that, I was like, oh my God, this is a plant for me. Because I don't know if you guys know this, but I've been, you know, off and on trying to quit smoking for like two years. So, yeah. Um, but also I've been looking for one last ingredient for like my cold and flu tea. And 
really the thing that I was missing because I had inflammation, I had, you know, fighting the cold, you know, helping your immune system and all that kind of stuff. The last thing that I didn't have was something to help with a cough, soothing your lungs, you know, getting the phlegm out of your chest. Lo and behold, mullen. And there's a lot of it by my apartment. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited for that. Um, I guess I can start showing you guys what mullen looks like. Mullen is a biannual, which means that its life cycle is about two years. It has a first cycle phase and then a second cycle phase. The second cycle phase is where it flowers and it distributes seeds. And the first cycle phase is its like rosette fuzzy phase which is what I thought was so beautiful and I was obsessed with. So, I guess I'll just walk right in front of me. So, this is mullen. Right here. Do you see how it has this really fuzzy texture on it? I thought that it was so pretty just as a plant in general. You know? And... Twitch is lacking in notifications. Oh yeah, I'm sorry if I don't see any notifications, guys. My Streamlabs app has been really bugging out, and I haven't been seeing notifications. Um, but if anything does happen, please let me know in the chat so I can make sure to thank you guys. But I loved this like super fuzzy leaf, and I thought it was just such a pretty plant. And then this is year two mullen, you know, with this real big phallus on top and the leaves coating on. This one's like kind of bent over. But this is your two mullen and there is a bunch of it. It's just everywhere. Oh, uh, alerts are broken for any streamer? Okay, that's good to know. So what I wanted to do today is I wanted to come out, I wanted to walk around and I wanted to gather some of these mullen leaves. This tree makes me so happy. I got my first plant from friends in Arizona, and it's a burrow's tail. Her name is Habeka, but she's not taking to her new pot. Uh, sometimes it just takes time. But, yeah, and then also, so if these were flowering, I would have been going in and gathering the flowers. They're these really pretty yellow flowers, but it looks like that it's not ready. So second year mullen all of like the medicinal properties goes into the flowers. All of the energy of the plant goes into the flowers. So you don't really, I mean, you can harvest these leaves. These leaves get really big and they still have medicinal properties, but they're not as strong as when they're in this stage, first year mullen. These still get pretty big. These ones have, happen to have like a lot of dirt on the bottom, um, but I'll be washing those. And they are chock full of all the good things and they make a really dope tea and they make a really good smoking blend as well. So I know that including myself I've been looking for herbs that you know I just really enjoy like the act of like smoking and I've been looking for something that'll help me to you know still get to enjoy smoking and that kind of thing but not be killing myself you know on a daily basis. So, mullen seems to be a really good substitute for that. I'm gonna be gathering a lot of it. I'm super excited. I, I'm just, I'm just so excited. So I guess I'm gonna set up the tripod real quick. I guess I'm gonna set up the tripod. Oh, I just got a notification on my phone. Is this good? Is this good? Let's just drop things that are drama, okay guys? That'd be great. got my little basket here. I'm gonna sit on the ground. Oh, I'm gonna gather some mullet. I didn't bring my scissors because I'm just like picking leaves. And again guys, something that's really important is when you're gathering local 
herbs. Don't take all, just take some. So there's a lot of mullein out here, so I am not going to take all from one plant. I'm going to take some good looking leaves from each one and then move on to the next one. So on this mullein, Zimbabwe, thank you so much for the subscription. Welcome back to the electric rave, my dude. Look how fuzzy. Look how fuzzy. Hi, Sky. Welcome to the stream. Look how fuzzy. <laughs> I love it. I'm just going to like... Nails looking fire, thank you, bud. Hi, Belle, how you doing? <laughs> what level is your herb lore? Uh, level 99. No, it's probably like on a scale of one to 100, probably like 65. they are um, earlier I picked up one of the like little baby ones I scooped it up from the earth and I put it in one of my pots upstairs so we'll see if it makes it um, here I will do a little close-up on what we're doing You know this girl is Bay Goals, the only thing she'll leave you for is herbs. I mean, it's the truth. I will leave you for herbs. It's so true. So, I guess while we're right here again, I'll talk about the properties of Mullen again. So, because I know that there's still some more people. You need to tell Mary about the herbs? I'm, I'm trying. So, um, again, Mullen is a biannual, which means that it has a two-year life cycle about that. Um, there's like a first year life cycle and a second year life cycle. The first year life cycle, it's such a pretty succulent looking plant. Yeah, it's not a succulent, but it does have that rosette shape like succulents do. Well, some succulents do. So the first year is um, when it looks like these. And this one, that's first year mullen. I could probably get it so that we're both in the shot. Yay! First year mullen looks like this. This is when the leaves are the most potent for medicine. Um, mullen, again, it helps with clearing out the lungs, um, suppressing coughs. So if you have a really bad cough, like if you have bronchitis or if you have a bad cold, or perhaps you uh, smoke a little bit too much, um, it will really help with suppressing coughs and it helps to get that tar and that phlegm out of your lungs. It expels that tar and phlegm from your lungs and replaces it with a healthy lining back on your lungs. It's been used for hundreds of years to promote lung health. Um, that's something that I'm really excited for about Mullen. I think that that is so cool. And like I said earlier, um, that's why I'm going to be including Mullen in a tea that I'm making that is for colds and flu, that kind of stuff. It'll really help to feel better up in here because I get sick a lot and I have been moving from like traditional medicine back to like like pharmacy medicine back to more like earth medicine stuff that occurs naturally so mullen and then there is second ear mullen which you see that dude you see this dude right there that it's like leaning over that's second year mullen. That's the flowering stage of mullen and a lot, not all, 
but a lot of the medicinal properties of the leaves in first year mullen moves to the flowers of second year mullen. The, the leaves still do have the medicinal properties of first year mullen, but it is a lot more potent in the flowers of second year mullen. Um, I thought that I would be able to find some of the flowering ones, but all of the ones that are second year mullen only have the buds on them yet. They don't have the flowers yet. So I what I'm not gonna be able to gather any of that. Yeah, more like holistic medicine. But I've been excited because they're so fuzzy and so cute. And we have so much more to gather. There's like mullen everywhere here. I was trying to find a place that was a little bit more like off the beaten path, you know? Um but it appears that it's all at the front of this little hiking area. So what made you get into this? I mean, I've loved plants my whole life. Um, I've always been super interested in plants. Um, in video games, like in Skyrim, I did all of like the crafting and the medicine making and, you know, the poison making. Um, I've always loved that in video games. I've always loved having gardens. Um, my dad always grew a lot of plants growing up. And so now that I, you know, I've been living on my own for you know, eight, nine years now, I'm to a place where I really want to have a garden. And so for the past like two years, I've been absorbing as much information as possible when it came to like plants. A lot. I have a lot of books. I've been reading a lot. <laughs> so I am, I think I'm going to take like a couple more from this one. Hi, face. How you doing? Mullen. Remember, just some, not all. It's really important because you don't want to deplete a population of plants. And you want the plants that are in the area to stay so that you can come back year after year and season after season to get more. Can I substitute with uh, traditional medicines? I mean, it's all up to your doctor and to your own preference. You know, I would 1000% recommend talking to your doctor to see what's going to be good for you first before you start to supplement with any of your own like grown plants or finding your own herbs and medicines and stuff. Um, I am luckily a pretty healthy individual, so I don't have anything that'll like counteract with, you know, different medicines that I will, that I'm taking or anything like that. But yeah, just be careful. And if you don't know what a plant is, it's better safe than sorry. Don't ingest, don't gather, don't do any of that. And, um, if you're 100% sure, or if you're buying from like a local apothecary or something like that, that is more the way to go. But I will continue to grab some mine. This one's really pretty. Fuzzy. I always be like checking the health of the leaves. Like these ones on the bottom are a little bit more brown. They've been on the ground for a long amount of time. So. Hi. I'm going to be getting getting the ones that are more like fresh and new and clean. More mud. Mm. I think I'm going to leave this one alone. It has some bug bites and stuff on it, so I don't want to take away from that one. Did you hear a doggo? You did hear a doggo. Okay, let's see. There's more this way. But yeah, I love doing stuff like this. I am uploading these like vlog kind of experiences onto YouTube. How do you spell the name of the plant? M-U-L-L-E-I-N. more. I'm going to be drying it out and then I will be crushing it up into like tea-sized pieces. So I'm just kind of like, I'm just taking a couple from each plant. We already have a good amount. And I really want to make sure that we are being conscious of the plants themselves. 
educate you more on plants? I mean, what do you want to know? Hmm. Oh, there's a bunch over here too. I'll show you guys a really, really pretty second year mullein here in a second. Here's a bigger one. You can use it to flavor beer. Oh my gosh, can you really? Yeah, it's been used a lot for a lot of different purposes. But the main proven medicinal one is for lung health. It adds really good flavor to the tea that you use it in as well. Manufacturers do anyway. Oh, are you talking about the the beer? Um, there was some more this way too, I think. But yeah, I'm hoping to grow my own mullen. I'm really lucky that the area that I have chosen to live has so many herbs that I want right next to it. Uh, that makes me really happy. Can we use this for skin? Oh yeah, it's really good for like hemorrhoids. Um, it like calms down infections on the skin, like rashes, that kind of stuff. Okay, boys and girls, let me show you something cool. This is a beautiful second year mullen. And second year mullen can get six feet tall. Okay, so this is like, this is a really beautiful one. Like it's in really good shape, you know? But there's one towards the back that is huge. Huge, 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 huge. So um, when people use mullen for rashes and that kind of stuff, they take the big leaves from second year mullen and they wrap it on the wounds, the rashes, the blisters, that kind of stuff. And it just it has so much cool stuff. So this has some little flowers on it. So I don't, I don't know if it'll focus. Focus. There we go. So this does have some flowers ready. So I'm just gonna Boop. focus. Boop. Boop. They're just little yellow flowers. So they are pretty dang potent. Boop. Mm. The flowers are more potent. So first year mullen, the leaves are just as potent as the flowers are, or they're maybe a little less potent than the flowers. But second year mullen, the, the leaves lose some of their potency and it goes into the flowers. I want to see, I need, I think I need a little bit more. So I'm going to go back this area and see if I missed any plants that I want to grab some more from. What game is this? Um, Gardening simulator. Gardening simulator. Gathering simulator. Oh, here's a couple right here. Is that, can you guys see? Is the wind gonna knock over my tripod? This one looks nice and tasty. So if you guys ever wondered what I do in my spare time when I'm not streaming, I am researching plants always, identifying plants always. Yeah, I guess it's more like this is more like foraging, huh? This one has some dirt. Oh, this one, look guys, this one has a double rosette. See? Right there and right there. 
This might actually be second year mullen. Let me look. Yeah, the stalks look pretty, pretty dope. I'm still gonna grab some of these leaves. I just love how fuzzy they are. It's just so cute. My hair's a mess. Cute wicker basket, thank you. No, I would love to grow mushrooms. You're a botanist? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, um, I'm pretty self-taught, so I am going to be taking some courses this summer in herbal medicine, learning a bunch of stuff. I'm excited for it. Looks good for salad. I mean, it is used in food as well. It's edible, so. It's common mullen. I don't know what the scientific term for it is. Is this one loose? Oh my god, it's loose! Oh, it looks like it was dug up. Oh, ya girl. Hello, you are going to straight into my garden. It was like so loose. All of this was out of the ground. Oh, you going straight in my garden, baby boo. Oh, straight in my garden. This makes you want to go do some foraging. I've seen those up around here. Aren't they also called lamb's ear? I don't know. I would have to look that up. I'm just, I love doing this. So I think I've got a good amount of what I want. Girl kidnaps plant. It was already out of the ground. What was I supposed to do? It was gonna die if I didn't save it. You know? We're gonna walk this way just a little bit to make sure we didn't miss any. What should we name it, guys? What should we name our little mullen plant that we just acquired? Mm, I'm gonna leave that one alone. Who is Bear? Educate me. Glenn, we're gonna name him Glenn. Glenn sounds like a good name, but I don't want his, like, brain smashed. That just makes me sad. Oh, so many birds. Oh, I can't wait for this to bloom, guys. Look. You see this cluster? Yarrow! I can't wait for that to bloom. Lamb's ear is that cheese and get cute red flowers. Oh yeah, no, 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 that's not lamb's ear then. But I think these are verbascum. Um, just look up the scientific name for mullen. Oh my God, there's so much yarrow here. Oh, I'm so excited for it to bloom. Oh, here, I'll show you guys. Look at this big old yarrow. Oh. You see the white blooms coming up? I mean, you can't, you're, I mean, you can use the leaves for yarrow and tea too. But I want the flowers. <laughs> I just, I got so lucky in this area. There's so many plants here that I like use, which I'm so excited for. I think it's so cool that there's just so many that I already use. Sorry, I'm Swedish. I'm bad at English common names. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No problem, no problem. I appreciate you guys being here. Yeah, so apparently mullen is not native to the United States. It was brought over by, from the UK. I don't know exactly where in the UK it's from, but it's not, it's not native here. Also, there is... <gasps> Oh my god. Do you guys see? 
I zoom? Do you guys see? It's watching me. Do you want to be my friend? Oh my god. Oh my god. Mr. Deer? Mr. Deer, do you want to be my friend? Oh, that's Mrs. Deer. Mrs. Deer. Miss. I'll give you some... I'll, I'll, I'll give you... I'll, I'll give you some mullen. I'm sure you'll like it. Come here. Do you want to be my friend? Mrs. Deer? Look, I am one with nature. Okay? I am one with nature. You love me. <laughs> I thought she was going to charge at me. Look, she, she got so mad. I, I'm not one with nature. I'm not one with nature. I'm not one with nature. <laughs> I thought she was going to charge at me. <laughs> Guys. I spooked myself, man. Oh my gosh, she snorted and she ran, dude. Oh, she was not happy. Well, Bambi didn't like me. Um, well, I tried. I didn't know there was deer back here. Oh my god. Now we have to keep our eyeballs out for more deer. She was so pretty, I know. I, like, she snorted and ran. Guys, my mission now, because it's deer time right now. It's dusk. My mission now is to touch a deer. She tried to fling them boogers at you. Yeah, apparently. Goodness gracious. We're on deer lookout now, guys. Are there rattlesnakes in that area? Yes. Correct. Ah, oh, it's just one, such a wonderful day. Just such a wonderful day. I kind of want to sit, find a good little spot to sit and hang out with you guys. I still want to know, I still have this really waxy leaves. Let me know if anybody in the chat guys know what this is. Ooh. Anybody know what this is? It's just so pretty. I don't know what that is. I want to know though. Oh. Ouch. Now I want to see my deer. It looks like sedum. What is sedum? Educate me. One sec. Oh, wait, do you know? so nice outside. We're gonna walk all the way back down the trail, I think. Man, I really wanted to pet that deer. Don't give me that. Like, that's some quality stream content. Quality. I, I'm a little embarrassed that I jumped, though. Listen, I grew up. show you guys the really big mullen plant that I found. It's a big boy. It's a big boy indeed. If only my eyes were Google. Wouldn't that be amazing? My legs are itching watching this. I'm allergic to grass. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, for whatever reason, I don't really have too much of a bad time with bugs. I just, I don't get bit up. Like every time we're sitting outside, like Aunt and Mary are complaining about how they're getting so bit up. And I'm just like, 
Bugs don't want to eat me. I don't know what to tell you. That's why I like you. Oh, that I'm one with nature. I was looking on Twitch and there's not a lot of streams that like do gardening stuff. Your girl is about to carve out her niche, okay? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so excited actually. I can't wait. And it's just like, now that the sun's going down, it's like eight o'clock here. Everything's getting a little spooky. Everything wants to eat Mary, it's true. Like literally she gets eaten alive by bugs. <sighs> All the time. I, I, I know it's because gamers like, don't really do the outside things. And they're just like pretending to do the outside things when they go do outside things. But I miss doing outside things. I was thinking about doing maybe like some fishing streams. I would like to do some fishing. Oh boy. I can do this. Hold on. I will show you what I am about to walk up. Do you guys think I can do it? Okay. I'm not going to fall. Mad woman's milk? Oh, so is it like a, a poisonous plant? Oh god. Huh. Huh. Oh. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a big one. A big one. It's a, it's a big boy for sure. <sighs> My wrist hurts. Being an IRL streamer is hard, man. You guys already see a big... Sorry, I thought I heard rustling. You guys ready to see a big boy mowing? You ready? <sighs> Look at that big boy. Your plants always die in your room? Try turning them outside. And then look at that big boy back there. That's some big mullen. That's some big mullen. Perfect. Well, guys, I've got to pee. And I've got to go home. I hope you guys enjoy the stream of walking through the wilderness, even though there's like electrical stuff behind me. We're just going to pretend like it's not there. Look, look, look. Look, it'll look like I'm in the forest. Look. Optical illusions. We are in the forest. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, I will be live again tomorrow. We're going to be doing League of Legends and Stardew Valley. Hello, PR Handoom. I'm going to be drying these mullen leaves over the next few days. And I will uh, show you guys when I make the mullen tea. Yeah, I know guys, I know, I know. But these streams need to be a little bit shorter because I do have to walk home and, and I have to pee, so I can't really just like pee. So, thank you guys again for watching. For those of you who watched on YouTube, let me know what kinds of plants you would like for me to do next. Uh, for those of you guys who are also watching on YouTube, let me know how you like these videos. All of my stream people, you guys are awesome. You're amazing. And I love doing this stuff. See you later, guys. <laughs> Bye.